Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us for Sunday School this morning. And I just want to start with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the Sunday School today. I pray that you bless the children and be with them. Help them to learn and help me as I teach. In Jesus' name, amen. And we are going to start with Stop and Go. And I have a helper this morning, Abigail, who's going to help us with singing and doing the action. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. He forgave my sins and he saved my soul. He cleansed my heart and he made me whole. Stop. And let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. And now we're going to sing the second verse. And we're going to turn these around. Yep. Yeah. Go, Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. He'll forgive their sins and he'll save their souls. He'll cleanse their hearts and he'll make them whole. Go, Go. and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. All right, thank you for singing. Thank you for everyone singing that's watching. And we will go to our next song, He's Able. This one has fun actions, so let's do them. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He healed the brokenhearted, and he set the captives free. He made the lame to walk again, and he caused the blind to see. peek a -boo. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Great job singing. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to do the next song a little bit. First, we're going to go over our memory verse. So who remembers our verse from last week? The words of the Lord are pure words. Psalm 12, verse 6. Yes? Pure of the word. Psalm 26. Very close. Very close. Let's say it one more time. The words of the Lord are pure words. Psalm 12, verse 6. And now we, are you going to say it? Okay. The words of the, okay. How you do the words? The words of the Lord are pure words. Okay. And now that was last week's verse. So now we're going to help everyone learn our next verse. Wait. Our next verse is... Hear my voice, O oh God, in my prayer. Hear my voice, O oh God, in my prayer. Psalm 64, verse 1. Let's say it together. Hear my voice, O oh God, in my prayer. Psalm 64, verse 1. All right, and we're going to go over it again later. We're not going to say it now. We're going to go over it again later. And now we are going to sing another song. Woo! Who likes this song? It's called Roll the Way. This one has really fun actions. Okay, let's do them together. Roll the way, roll the way, roll the way. Every burden of my heart, roll the way. Roll the way, roll the way, roll the way. Every burden of my heart rolled away. Every sin had to go neath the crimson flow. Hallelujah! Rolled away, rolled away, rolled away. Every burden of my heart rolled away. <laughs> wow, very 
very enthusiastic singing. All right. Who wants to sing it again? Mama. You want to sing I'm, it one more time? Yeah, Mama. I'm a really big helper. Yes, very big helper. All right. Let's sing Roll the Way one more time. Roll, roll the way, roll the way, roll the way. Every burden of my heart. Roll the way, roll the way, roll the way, roll the way. To go meet the cranes and flow. Hallelujah. Roll the way, roll the way, roll the way. Every burden of my heart, roll the way. All right. Okay. So we're. Okay. That must be Abigail's favorite song. So now we are going to go into our story. So our story today is in the book of Genesis. So if you have your Bibles, you can turn in Genesis my Bible. chapter 25, verse 20. 25. All right. Genesis 25, verse, tw verse What's 20. What's that man? That man. We're going to find out what that man is. Now we need to sit nicely and listen to the story, okay? All right. So here you go, Abigail. Thank you. Okay. So we have some people. Abigail, would you like to help hold the people? Yeah. Okay. So here's the first person. This is Isaac. So we're just going to read about him here. In verse 20, it says, And when Isaac was 40 years old, he took Rebekah to wife. So he got married when he was 40 years old. So here's his wife, Rebekah. So we've got Isaac and Rebekah. Here, let's hold them. With, you can hold them with each one hand like that. All right, so we got Isaac and Rebekah. And they couldn't have any children. And so they were very sad that they couldn't have any children. And so uh, Isaac, he prayed that they would be able to have children. In verse 21, it says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. And so entreated means that he was asking the Lord for that they would be able to have children. And so what do you think happened? Do you think God answered the prayer? Well, sure enough. So then uh, nine months later, then came along, there was two babies instead of one baby. And they had twin boys and their names were Jacob and Esau. And they were twin boys. So that is pretty cool. Do you know anybody that has twins in their family? I think twins are really neat. So anyway, and so Jacob and Esau, they grew up and became older boys. Here, let's trade them. So there we've got Jacob and Esau growing up. And this in this story, we're not going to learn about everything that happened in their lives. But what we are learning in this story is that God answered prayer. Have you ever wanted something so much that you couldn't just couldn't stand waiting for it or doing without it? Maybe you wanted a special toy for your birthday or Christmas or... Maybe you already have a list of things that you want for Christmas. Waiting is hard sometimes, isn't it? Maybe you just keep asking your mom and dad when you're going to get this certain thing that you really want. Our Bible story today had some people who wanted something very badly, and that was Isaac and Rebecca. And they got their prayers answered. So that is really special when God answers our prayers. Have you ever had something that you prayed for that God answered? Yeah. You want me to take that? Sure. Sure. Okay. And so um, God answers prayers. And sometimes God doesn't always answer prayers exactly the way we think we want it. This time God answered their prayer in what they asked for. But sometimes God says no or wait. And there's always a reason why we have to wait or why something else is better for us when, when we don't right away receive what God has uh, for us because he knows what's best for us. And so then we are going to work on our memory verse a little bit more. Let's say it together again. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Psalm 64, 
verse 1. Mama, I don't know that word. Yeah, that's why we're learning it. Uh -huh. Hear my uh -huh. voice, uh -huh. O God, in my prayer. Yeah. Psalm 64, uh -huh. verse 1. Uh -huh. And so thank you for learning that with us. Now we are going to do some crafts. We're not gonna to totally do them, but we're gonna show you how to do them. So you should have a paper like this. And who do you think these two babies are? They are Jacob and Esau. And so we have something like a blanket included in your package. And so you can get out some glue if you have some at home and glue the blanket on like this. And then you can color the rest of their blanket and color their hair and their skin if you want. So, and then uh, it has your verse at the bottom. And then it says, God hears and answers prayer. And so that's part of your craft. And then we have one other part of our craft is, it says, God answers prayer. And you can fold it on the dotted line. If you want to, you can also cut it on the black lines or you can leave it. And it also has our memory verse in it. And it says, here, we're just going to fold it. And it says our verse, which we're going to say one more time. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. And it says here, God answers prayer. And then on the inside, it's all blank. And it's for you to write down or draw what you want to pray for. So if you can't write yet, you can draw pictures of what you want to remember to pray for. So this can be your prayer list. And so you can draw your family or your church, or your pastor, or whoever, your friends, your parents, whatever you want to remember to pray for, you can draw pictures of them. Or if you know how to write, you can write their names, or you can write whatever your request is that you want to be praying for. And so that's what this is for. And you can also color the front of this. Okay, now we are going to have another story. So, yeah, just, yeah, it's not going to have it in the Bible this one. So this one is out of a different book here, but it has Bible verses in it. So it's called, Not Too Good to Be True. Wow, Liam pointed at the cereal box. Look at the race car, it's on the back, so you can't see it. Uh, look at this race car model. It's just like the car Corey Martin drives. You know... This is so big, you can sit in it. It's so cool. Can I cut this out and send it in so I can get one? It's free. So there was a coupon on the back of the cereal box that said it was a free car you could get. Free, Dad asked. I doubt it. It is, Liam insisted. It says so right here. Listen, the car itself, uh, you can get in the mail if you send in this coupon. It's a life-size race car model, absolutely free. Can I do it, Dad, please? Dad took the box and read the offer himself. Then he said, the car itself may be free, but you need to send $15 for postage. Is that still free? Hmm. That's still not much, Dad, said Liam. Where else could I get a model that size for just $15? What an offer, sounds too good to be true. It usually is, said dad, but if you want to use your own money for the car, you can send it in. So Liam sent his $15 on its way and the coupon and eagerly awaited for the car. Finally, a package came in the mail for him. Liam was so excited to open it and then he looked inside and well, even before he opened it, he's like, this box is really small. And he, he opened it up and he found lots of pieces of cardboard and plastic. Looks like I have to put the car together myself, he said. Dad, will you help me please? Dad agreed to help. And when everything was finally in place, Liam stood back and looked at the car sadly. Hmm. If this is life size, it must be meant for a two year old. He said as he cautiously stepped into it, he sat down and with one big kerplop, the car collapsed. Liam sighed. 
so much for the race car. Oh, it's broken. You were right, Dad. When an offer sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Unfortunately, that's almost always true, agreed Dad. But I can think of one big exception. You can, said Liam. What is it? God offers a free gift of salvation and eternal life. And because Jesus paid for it by dying on the cross and raising from the dead, it is actually free. Liam nodded as he looked at the race car. I'm so glad that God's offer really is true. Uh, then we have the verse, Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Have you ever been disappointed by a special coupon offer? That will never happen with the gift that God offers for free. One so valuable, you could never pay for it. The gift he offers is eternal life through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't miss out on the amazing offer. If you have not accepted the gift by trusting in Jesus, do it today. He wants to save you. And so I'm so thankful for that free gift. And I'm so glad that God answers our prayers. And that's why I'm praying for you. And I'm just going to pray before we close the Sunday school time. And I'm just thankful for each one of you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the Sunday school time. I pray that you just bless each of the children that are watching. Please be with them and help them in all their things that they need to do this week. Any struggles that they have, I pray you just help them. I pray that you'd answer their prayers and just help them to love you, Lord. And I pray you just bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And just thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful week.